Okay, so the mini gen is up. Uh, I don't really have any wind yet, so it's not really turning. Uh, it was turning last night, and now I can move on to my other project. This is connected. The wire is going to the rectifier and then it goes into, uh, hopefully it, if it works it goes to uh, charging my uh, small battery. So now I have to move on and go back to my work on the uh, axial flux uh, alternator. Hi, what I have here is uh, six coils uh, for an axial flux alternator. And I'm trying to figure out the uh, best way to wire it. Uh, I know that uh, you have the star or delta uh, connection uh, in which uh, these one, two, three, these out wires would be uh, connected together. And then the inside wire of one, two, three from here. Uh, would go out as AC to your rectifier. That's one way of doing it. And I'm sure there are other ways also. But uh, I am thinking of uh, doing it uh, this way. The three inside wires, one, two, three, would go uh, out here to uh, three rectifiers. And I would have uh, the number one uh, outside wire going into number one, the inside wire, and then the number one outside wire uh, would come out and then uh, would go into um, one rectifier. So basically you have one wire here and one wire here from both number one coils. Maybe I should name it this 1A and 1B. So 1A and 1B uh, would form uh, one AC output and this would go into a rectifier. Number two 2A and 2B would go to another set of rectifier. Number 3, 3A and 3B would go to yet another set. So uh, basically I would have three rectifiers. And then uh, the three outputs from the uh, DC side of the rectifiers would be connected in series uh, to get more voltage. Uh, out of the system. Uh, plus the uh, rectifier that I will be uh, setting up will probably have two capacitors like this. Uh, I have to see what kind of value the uh, recti uh, the capacitors will be. Uh, this rectifier with the voltage uh, stabilizer and booster has a 47 uh, microfarad uh, uh, recti uh, capacitor with a uh, 50 volt capacity. So if the output from this particular set of coils is higher, I would have to use uh, higher rating capacitors. Uh, this circuit here with the capacitors would uh, double the voltage output from your alternator. I have a uh, mini gen and I use this circuitry to increase the voltage uh, of the alternator. So I was thinking of doing the same thing with this axial flux alternator. Uh, so basically it will be like three separate phases. Uh, you would have two AC and then the AC from 1A, 1B would, would go to 
one rectifier, 2A, 2B would go to another one, 3A, 3B would go to another one, and then the output from the uh, rectifiers in DC would be put in series. So basically that's the uh, recap of uh, what I'm trying to do. Like I said, I'm sure there are different ways or better ways uh, to set this up, or maybe the setup that I'm describing uh, might not work at all. So if anyone cares to uh, give me some comments and suggestions, I would appreciate it. I would rather figure all this out uh, before I uh, make the uh, alternator. Uh, I would probably uh, not cast it uh, at this point. Uh, I was just thinking of doing a test run with uh, with this uh, set of coils uh, and case in uh, two plexiglass and then just run the magnet plate over it and see what I would get uh, before I do something more permanent. But this is an interesting experiment. Uh, these coil wires are pretty thin so they probably won't generate any kind of uh, too much electricity. Uh, it's 27 gauge. Uh, but they're difficult, I mean uh, they're easy to work with. Thicker wires would probably be more difficult to work with. And uh, it's a start and might be, maybe I can make some kind of uh, vertical axis uh, wind generator out of this. Uh, any suggestions uh, would be helpful. Uh, thanks for watching.